Okay. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Zoom Green Pumpkin Critter Crawl. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> Cole's having a breakdown. Don't worry about it. He's completely fine. <laughs> Hopefully. That was, um, was good. I hope it. But... Today we're going to be, like I said, doing a review on the Zoom Critical and Green Pumpkin Color Zoom Bake Company. And the way I rig them is with an extra long jig head. And it's about the size four to three and a half out hook. And it's a single bar hook. But it's, it has a jig head at the top. And what I'll do is I'll run it down just a little bit and pull it out about there. Oop, there it is. And then I'll run it down. <laughs> and then make sure pop that in there good. Came out differently. Um, I'll just bring the crawfish back. And run it Sorry. all the way through. Almost there. I think that's upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's and upside down. Well, <laughs> I have falsely rigged this. Look, let don't her, do it that way. Let a pro rig it real. We do it. I, sorry, I did it from the top. We need to do it from the bottom and pull it out about from the there. back. And let me see from the back. And then cheese on your burger. I don't know what's so funny to Cole, but. You know what's so funny. You know what's so funny to me. And, oops. But this is how you rig the critter crawl. I ran it through the back and then brought it around to the front. You could make it wheelless with a few adjustments to how you rig it. But I use it as a hey, well, you want some hooks? And some other things. And again, these are the hooks that Cole was throwing at me that I like to use. To rig the critter crawl <laughs> is... A bait slow on the bottom, or a nice dock flipping bait, or any kind of flipping bait. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Zoom, good girl, and green pumpkin. Well, there's a lot.